was brought to you by Qualcomm. What's up guys, this is Sharath here and I hope you enjoyed the new intro that I made. So coming to the video, this video is all about Qualcomm. So in my opinion what is Qualcomm? That's the first question. So the answer is Qualcomm is an SOC which is situated in SOC means what? A processor used in a mobile device. So it's, at, it's headquartered in America. Now. The older versions of Snapdragon or the Qualcomm processor used was the Scorpion, but Scorpion got out outrated and, and the Snapdragon series was introduced. And the first Snapdragon processor was this 100, but it was not that great because it's quite underpowered. So it gains improved, improved, improved from 32 bit to 64 bit. So 32 bit, the first one you notice is the Snapdragon S1, S2, S3, S4. They are kind of outdated but S4 I think is now much better because it has dual core from 1.1 GHz to 1.5 GHz it has dual core processor with a ARM Cortex A9. If you don't know ARM Cortex I will tell you now. So it's just a majority of people you can understand it very simply ARM Cortex A5, ARM Cortex A7, ARM Cortex A9, ARM, ARM Cortex 15 and ARM Cortex 53 and ARM Cortex 57. So if I ask you which is better, you will tell ARM Cortex A57 and the A15 are better. So comparing it, ARM Cortex A15 and the A57 are equal. ARM Cortex A5 is not that underpowered and ARM Cortex is much better than this ARM Cortex A5 and ARM Cortex is much much better on this A5. So ARM, Co ARM, ARM Cortex A15 is the best processor and also it's also, but the problem is it's a 32-bit processor, but the ARM Cortex A57 is a 64-bit, but it has some eating issues, that's the problem. So, in Cambaro, it is equal. Now, coming to the Snapdragon processors. The first introduced Snapdragon S4 was much better than the Snapdragon 200. They next introduced the Snapdragon 200 processor. Uh, I mean, they introduced in the Galaxy S devices, but... The GPU paired with that was a Adreno 200 GPU that I think is not unbearable. The device gained laggy but the surprising part is the device was popular and the next processor in my lineup is Snapdragon 400. So if I ask what is Snapdragon 400, I will tell you that Snapdragon 400 is used in the Moto G first gen and Stellar second gen. So the much better technology that gained through Snapdragon 400 is that you can play HD videos or as well as HD recording. But it was also introduced in S4, the S4 Snapdragon S4. But the, the next one, the Snapdragon 200 did not facilitate that. So that was a major problem. The, the Snapdragon 200 is facilitated with the Nokia Lumia devices. And the main selling point was this HD recording but they distinguish that option and removed it and you can only record up to 480p so in 400 these issues were solved and 400 got a better gpu that is adreno adreno is a series of gpu lineup used in snapdragon processors adreno is much much better than the media mediatek Pro gpus like the mali 400 as well as the video core which is developed by mark broadcom so Ad adreno Adreno 305 was used. The older generation 305 was also used in this Snapdragon S4, but the GPU was only 233 MHz. That means it's not underpowered comparing to the new generation. The new generation had a 450 MHz processor that's much much better than the old one. So I feel the Lumia 520, the game was laggy and because when I play this Asphalt 8, the game was set to graphic quality low, so that's my reason. And the next one I found is the Snapdragon 600. So Snapdragon 600 is also specifically a 4 core processor but paired with A15 processor. I want to tell you that Snapdragon 400 was paired with ARM Cortex A7 quad core processor whereas the, ARM, whereas the Snapdragon 600 was paired with ARM Cortex A15 processor. The first device to give this approach was the Nexus 4. And the next device was the Galaxy S5, S4 in the United States, I mean S4. And 
and but the, the problem was that it had several eating issues also the GPU that's Adreno for not the 420 uh, Adreno something like that I will tell you a bit later so a bit underpowered okay the next one is this Snapdragon 800 I think this is one of the best of the lot okay Snapdragon 800 introduced various introducing including full HD that was also introduced in Galaxy S4 but a more stabilized method of introducing video so that's a great one and also Adreno 330 GPU so I understood that the, the Adreno 320 GPU was used with the Snapdragon 600 the, the introduced feature of Adreno 330 GPU is that it's a lot better in gaming as well as in protocol so the next one processor is 805 this this processor was the latest that it could record in 4k that's a great before that 801 it also had 4k but some of the devices were not supporting and the 805 did its best in the 805 the note 4 and the nexus 6 are some of the devices and the, and the main surprising factor is that it supported quad hd display that means if you, if you use a 5.7 in device like the note, note you will get a 557 whopping PPI pixel density that's a great device in my opinion and the Nexus 6 also gained that so the next processor in the lineup is the 810 now the Snapdragon is going into the 64 bit I will represent the 64 bit in various formats I'm um, Snapdragon 410 610 as well as the 810 now the 810 had a 64 bit processor and also changed it to octa core that means you have 8 cores with all the cores simultaneously working but the problem was that it was pretty laggy and and it also had a heating issues you have seen in several videos that snapdragon 810 is heating so lg made a move in in reducing the cores into 8 into six cores that means hexagon which we, they go with the snapdragon 808 this fair round a good processor and also reduce the heating issues now the second processor is snapdragon 615 these are used in proprietary brand or the sony xperia m4 aqua and the eureka as well so this was a 64-bit processor and a much much improvement was ex experience it had a one one gigahertz quad core processor that and a 1.5 gigahertz quad core monitor. Together, they make an octa core processor. But sometimes they are only a battery server processor. That means four cores and four. Due to its heavy load, the these processors were very much heating. That means if you play around for 10 minutes, it will heat up to okay, up to obviously 56 degrees. You, I will give the links for the Geeky Ranjit video showing how the Euphoria as well as the M4 Aqua eats up. So the next process is 410. 410 is much better than the 400 because it increased the GPU technology. That means it used the 306. Before it was used 305. In the 815, 810 they used 420 GPU and in the 8615 GPU they used this 405. So that was a lot better. But I feel disappointed that this year Snapdragon did not put a an impeccable processor if you would like to go with the 615 or if you get a 800 for the same price go with that because 800 series was best of the lot that I knew from the earlier onwards that's it on this video and you can always comment on the logo that I appeared on not the logo the intro that I made and also subscribe to my channel for more and I hope to see you in my next video